In this video, we're learning how to find the least common multiple between two or three numbers using a factor tree. And just a quick refresher that the least common multiple between two or three or four or however many numbers is just the smallest multiple that they have in common. And multiples are just numbers that a number goes into evenly. So some multiples of eight would be eight, 16, 24, 32, and so on and so on. So let's jump into example one. So we wanna find the least common multiple between eight and 12. So when we're using the factor tree method, we need to start by making a factor tree for each number. So let's start by making a factor tree for eight. So remember when you're making a factor tree, you wanna start by thinking of two factors of the number, but you don't wanna use one in the number because that won't really help us. So let's use two and four. So we're gonna create two branches, one of which is two, the other of which is four. And now when we get a branch that has a prime number at the end, we wanna circle it. So we're gonna circle two because it's prime. Because four isn't prime, we need to continue breaking it up until we are left with just prime numbers at the end of our branches. So four can be broken up into two times two. And now we have prime numbers at the end of all of our branches, so we know we're finished with our factor tree for eight. And now we're gonna do a similar thing for 12. So let's break up 12 into three and four. Three is prime, so we're gonna circle it. Four is not, so we're gonna to continue to break up four into two times two, and we are going to circle them. So what this means is that eight can be written as two times two times two. That's, the, oops, times two. That is the prime factorization of eight. And 12 can be written as two times two times three. You just multiply all the prime numbers that we circled in our factor tree together, and that's called the prime factorization. Now, if we wanna use this to find the least common multiple, what we wanna do is take each number that shows up in either prime factorization, and we wanna take however many times it shows up the most. So let me explain what that means. So a three shows up in our 12 prime factorization. It doesn't show up in our eight one, it shows up in our 12. We're gonna need that in our answer for the least common multiple. So let me write LCM down here. So we know we're going to have one three, and then we have to multiply it by some number of twos. And we wanna take however many twos show up the most number of times. So we're gonna think in which number, eight or 12, in which prime factorization does two show up more times? Well, two shows up three times in eight. And it only shows up two times in 12. So we're gonna take the one that shows up more. So we need to take three twos. So we're gonna multiply it by two three times. And now we're just gonna go ahead and multiply this out. So three times two is six, times two again is 12, times two again is 24. So we get that the least common multiple between eight and 12 is 24. So now let's take a look at example two, which is 36 and 27. And this method of using a factor tree is gonna be especially helpful when you're dealing with bigger numbers like 36 and 27. For example one, you could have just written out a list of multiples for eight and 12 and figured out what is the smallest one they have in common. But once your numbers get bigger, it's hard to write out lists of multiples. So let's go ahead and start by making a factor tree for 36. So we'll just start with two and 18. You could have started with six and six or four and nine, but I just like to start with two if it's easy. And now we'll break up 18 into two and nine. And I should have circled this branch because it's prime. Two is prime here, so we'll circle this. And we'll break up nine into three and three. So I know that 36 can be written as two times two times three times three. I'm gonna do a similar thing for 27. So let's break up 27 into three times nine. Three is prime, so I circle it. Nine is not, so I continue to break it up. And nine is three times three. And both threes are prime, so we circle this. So 27 can be written as three times three times three. Now we have to figure out how many twos and how many threes we are going to have in our answer. Well, twos only show up in the prime factorization for 36, and we know that we have two twos. So we're gonna have to put two twos in our least common multiple, multiply those. And then three show up in the prime factorization for 36 and the prime factorization for 27, but they show up more in the prime factorization for 27. They show up three times. So we wanna pick the one that shows up more. So we're gonna multiply by three threes. And now let's multiply this together. And I'm gonna multiply this one in parts to make it a little bit easier. So two times two times three 
is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, times 3, which is 12. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So we're going to have 12 times 9. And 12 times 9 is going to give us 108. So we get that the least common multiple between 36 and 27 is 108. Let's go over one example where we have to find the least common multiple between three numbers. So for this last example, we need to find the least common multiple between 15, 25, and 45. And I encourage you guys to pause the video and try this one on your own. It's a bit more challenging because there's three numbers, but you're going to use the same method that we use for examples one and two. And then once you finish the problem, you can unpause the video and watch me work through it. So let's start by making a factor tree for each number. We'll start with 15, which can be broken up into 3 and 5. 3 and 5 are both prime, so we're finished with our factor tree. So 15 can be written as 3 times 5. And now let's do the same thing for 25. So 25 can be broken up into 5 times 5. And again, these are both prime, so we're finished with our factor tree. So 25 can be written as 5 times 5. And finally, let's make a factor tree for 45. We'll do 5 and 9. 5 is prime, and we'll break up 9 into 3 times 3. And 3 and 3 are both primes. So we know we're finished here. So we get that 45 is equal to 3 times 3 times 5. And now we're going to have to find the least common multiple. So 3 shows up in our 15 prime factorization and our 45 prime factorization. It doesn't show up in the 25 one, but that's okay. We need to take every number that shows up in either of the or any of the three prime factorizations that we wrote down. So 3 shows up in 15 and 3 shows up in 45. It shows up more times in 45, so we're going to use the two threes from the 45 prime factorization. So we're going to start with 3 times 3. And now 5 shows up in all three prime factorizations, but we want to take the one where it shows up the most, which is for 25. It shows up twice. So we're going to multiply this by 5 times 5. And now we are going to simplify this. So I'm going to do 3 times 3, which is 9. And multiply that by 5 times 5, which is 25. And if you guys can't do this in your head, that's fine. Feel free to use a calculator or write it down on the side of your paper. 9 times 25 is going to give us an LCM, or least common multiple, of 225. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the least common multiple using a factor tree. If you want more practice with problems similar to the ones we went through today, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.